Hooked up. For whatever reason, the Mediterranean mussels grow better in Totten Inlet than they do in other places in Washington State. And I think it's the productivity of the water. There's a lot of phytoplankton in the water in Totten Inlet, and so you get very high yields of uh, fast-growing mussels. I'm Gordon King. I grow mussels for Taylor Shellfish. I've uh, been a shellfish and a fish grower for 29 years. And we're in Washington State, the bottom of Puget Sound. The mussel we grow here is often called the Mediterranean mussel. And uh, we've been growing mussels here for almost 20 years. So, um, with the, mussels, uh, with the mussels, we put it in a mesh stocking and we hang it on our rafts um, and after about 12 months the, the mussels grow to be the size that you see in the restaurants and in the stores and uh, you get a rope of mussels and so I'll get a handful of these mussels. Uh, empty shell there. So we get mussels like this. They look kind of muddy and dirty here but we rinse them off in the back of the processing plant and in a year we have two farms in Totten Inlet uh, and from the two farms we sell about 1.25 million pounds of mussels per year. Really growing, growing mussels is a very simple process. It's like most types of farming, it's very simple. But um, you need seed, um, and then you need to keep the predators away from the seed, and then you need to have something, in this case because it's an animal, you need something for it to eat. So you can see on the rafts around here there's nets. These nets are uh, to keep the ducks off. Now the other predator that we have is uh, uh, can be crabs, but uh, the way to keep the crabs off, because the crabs around here don't swim, we keep the mussels off the bottom, so that's one of the reasons we suspend them from these floating structures, these rafts. So what happens is we uh, have the seed, the mussel seed, and we put it into a mesh sock, and then it grows out through the mesh sock. So Ezekiel here is just uh, socking up a rope of mussels, um, little light growing hops for a tomato plant, something like that. Really, with shellfish, um, like I say, it's smell and taste. When the mussels reach the size, uh, you know, three inches long or so, about 15 to the pound, they're ready to harvest. It's still not huge production compared to some other places in the world. The biggest, uh, biggest mussel producer in the world is China, followed by, I think, Spain and probably Chile, New Zealand. Um, so North America, uh, the United States actually doesn't produce that many mussels. Uh, we're lucky because we have a fresh market here. Just about all the product that we sell is sold as fresh. So um, it's a pretty good market for us to be in. But um, people have been farming shellfish in this area, Totten Inlet, for over 100 years. The Taylor family's uh, uh, ancestors were farming here over 100 years ago, farming oysters. And I would like to believe, I do believe, and that um, as long as the water stay nice and clean, that we should be able to farm shellfish here uh, for at least another 100 years. So it's a type of farming I really believe in. Provides uh, good jobs, uh, renewable production, and um, brings money from outside this rural area into this rural area. So, and it's a nice, fresh, tasty product.
sometimes uh, I'll shuck them like this and uh, eat them, um, uh, put them, put them in batter and, and, and fry them, and they're really good. The sunsets and the smell of the ocean breeze and the salt water, the beautiful uh, sunrises, all those things uh, really draw me out to, the, to want to be part of that life. And it's things that you don't even think about. You just kind of naturally see it and you enjoy it. And uh, that's the things that really draw you and the anticipation of what the catch will be that day.